Ya yeah, kwenye session iliyopita tulikuwa tuna discuss kuhusu pictorial presentation na tuligusa kidogo kuhusu domain and range of relation. Lakini kwenye session hii tuna discuss kuhusu domain and range. Kwa hiyo uh, for any relation lazima iwe na values za x pamoja na values za y. So domain is the all values or all possible values of x. Value yoyote ya x inayoweza kuwepo kwenye relation tunaita domain and all possible values of y tunazita kama range so all possible values of x zinaitwa domain and all possible values of y zinaitwa range so for our any relation uh, let's say for a relation r which is equal to set of ordered pairs x comma y hapa maana kitakuwa tuna baadhi ya values za x na nyingine zitakuwa ni za y kwa sasa domain of relation domain of relation r maana rahisi hapo tunasema domain of r domain of r iwe sawa sana a eh, set of ordered pairs x whereby for x comma y kwa kila value ya x comma y baadhi ya value belongs belongs to r for some y for some y manake kuna baadhi ya value za x zinazoweza kutengeneza y ndio zinaitwa domain sio zote kwa kuna value nyingine za x ukiziingiza hazitengenezi y hizo hazizi kawa domain ni mpaka value ya x iwe ina uwezo wa kutokeza y ndio tunaita domain kwa mfano kama equation yetu ikawa ina square root ya x Alafu tunajua hatuna square root ya negative number. Kwa hiyo negative yoyote haiwezi kaingia kuwa domain. Yaani kama y is equal to square root of x. Domain haiwezi kawa negative number kwa hii case kwa sababu hatuna square root of negative number. So our domain itakuwa ni only number x lakini x lazima iwe greater than 0 greater than or equal to 0. Why it is because we don't have negative uh, square root of negative number. Unaona? Kwa hiyo maana nasema Domain zitakuwa ni values za x ambazo y huyu hapa y anaweza katokea. Kwa sababu kuna baadhi ya values za x ambazo y hatokei. Kama y hatokei kwa mfano tukiweka x negative number hata ukiingiza kwenye calculator itakwambia math error. Itakwambia math error. Nikupe tu example I have my scientific calculator here. Nikupe example ni kuingizie a square root of any negative number. So let's say square root of negative 2. Alafu tuone inakuletea mathe error so even a calculator does not recognize square root of a negative number na kama it recognizes square root of a negative number manake hatuna square root of negative number popote but it is possible to get square root of zero or square root of any positive number so in 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 easier way tunasema kwamba domain ni value za x ambazo zinaweza katupa y lakini pia range range of r ni value za y ambazo zinaweza katupa x hizi ni values of y ambazo zinaweza katupa x so tutasema kwamba hizi eh, y kwa by x comma y belongs belongs to r for some for some x maana yake hizi ni value fulani za y ambazo zinaweza kufanya x atokee tenda kuona kwenye kwenye maswali hapa sio muda lakini hizi ni value fulani za y ambazo zinaweza kufanya x atokee sio zote sio zote again for example mfika mahali mpata x ni sawa sana square root of y hapa y ikiwa y ikiwa less than 0 manake hatuwezi tukapata square root of negative number au mfika sehemu mpata x ni sawa sana y minus 1 y minus 1 manake kama ni square root hapa manake hichi cha ndani chote it must be greater than or equal to zero. so y minus 1 must be greater than or equal to zero. that is to say that is to say y should be greater than or equal to 1 eh hiyo ndio itakuwa range for relation au umekuja kupata x is equal to the square root of 1 minus y unaona alafu square labda 1 minus y square au even 1 minus y mgoja kupata ndio jibu lako la mwisho that means each and any chote must be greater than or equal to 0 that is to say 1 minus y 
must be greater than or equal to zero. Ili kwamba hii question yetu fengi iwezekane. Ili kwamba hii question yetu iwezekane. So that is to say kwamba eh, one is greater than or equal to y. Our y is less than or equal to one. Y must be less than or equal to one. Ili kwamba hii nani yetu iweze kutokea hapa. Ili kwamba hii x iweze kutokea. Kwa sababu hili x itokea lazima each kitu chandani chote kiwe eh, kiwe greater than zero. Kwa hiyo kiufupi ni kwamba tunavyokuwa na solve domain and the range of relation domain and the range of relation tunatumia concept kama hizo hapo tunatumia concept kama hizo hapo concept kama hizo ndo ambazo zinakuwa zinatumika katika kusolve domain and the range of relation kwa hiyo tuone maswali sasa tuone maswali nimeshakupa explanation za domain and the range tuone maswali yanatokaje eh, for example given the relation r mm, relation r ambayo ni sawa sawa na set of ordered pairs x, y whereby y is the husband of x then tumeambia find domain and range sasa hiyo ni relation ambayo ni ya, ya explanation tu kwa hiyo haitakuwa ina maelezo mengi domain uh, simply would be the set of all wives kwa sababu y ni mme wa x so x watakuwa ni watu wote ambao wame wameolewa ni wake za watu so domain would be all wives and range would be all husbands Uh, but for the for the case of question number 2 tumepewa order the pairs find domain and the range domain itakuwa ni set ya hizi 0 0 na 0 ni kitu kile so 0 1 and 3 then range would be 2 4 uh, 2 and 2 is the same thing so itakuwa 2 4 and 5 that is range tukipewa swala order the pair kama ile inakuwa ina shida lakini kuna maswali mengine unapewa if r is equal to hapo x and y are real numbers y ni sawa sana Eh, 3x square y ni sana 3x square find all ordered pairs belonging to r when the domain is u up kwa tumpea domain 0 1 negative 2 2 2 ya 2 uh, ya tatu, na square root of 3 so kupata range hapo ni very easy ni kuchukua tu hizi domain x kuingizia pale kwamba x start tumeshapewa 0 moja, negative 2 2 2 ya tatu, na square root ya tatu kupata range hapo it is very easy ni, ni kuingizia tu kwa hiyo from there eh, kupata range tunachukua x tunaingiza pale tukiingiza tunapata order the pairs maana tutakuja kuandika so for our values so for our values ambazo tuko tumepewa hapo za x na equation tuko tumpewa ukiweka x 0 eh, 3 times i mean 3 x square so x square ni 0 times 3 itakuwa ni itakuwa ni 0 hiyo hiyo. 1 square ni 1 times 3 ni 3. Negative 2 square is 4 times 3 is 12. Then 12 utakuja kupata mwisho wa siku ordered pairs ni hizi. Hizi hapa ndo zitakuwa ordered pair. Asa sometimes you are given equation, you are given equation. Na kama ambapo nimesema mwanzo ni kwamba unapopewa equation domain na range bado zinakuwa ni ni vitu vile vile. Domain tulisema ni values za x which can produce y wakati range ni values the y which can produce x so domain is the set of all values of independent variable x which when substituted in the relation yield the values of dependent variable y domain is the set of all values of independent variable x which when substituted in the relation yield the values of dependent variable y that is domain but in this particular example the domain is the set of all values of x the set of all values of x in the set of all real number kwa sababu hapa value yoyote ya x ukiingiza inatoa jibu la y value yoyote from negative infinity to the positive infinity lakini also for this case range range pia ili tuweze kupata range sasa hiyo hiyo ni domain all real number x lakini hii tuweze kupata range tuna make subject uh, y So from uh, y is equal to 2x plus 1. I mean tuna make subject s x. Tunaandika x in terms of y. So itakuwa itakuwa y ku minus 1 is equal to 2x then uh, x itakuwa sawa na y minus 1 divided by 2. Or that is to say x itakuwa sawa na y divided by 2 minus a half. So unaona tunaangalia j value gani za y tukiziingiza zitaleta x value gani za y tukiingiza zinaleta x na in this case ukiangalia 
any value of y ukiingiza hapo inaweza kukuletea x any value of y sasa kama ni any value of y ukiingiza ina uwezo kukuletea x manake range pia itakuwa ni all real number all real number manake ni namba yoyote namba yoyote inaweza kawa ni inaweza kawa ni range yetu n namba inaweza kawa ni inaweza kawa ni, ni range yetu namba yoyote inaweza kawa ni, ni range yetu so uh, for this case domain itakuwa ni all real number x and range itakuwa ni all real number y so tunasema kwamba Uh, to obtain the range of variation say y is equal to 2 you have to first make x the subject of the fun of the formula x be on the left hand side of the equation so from there you make subject to your equation to kuja kupata y is equal to x plus 1 then y minus 1 is equal to 2x ambayo utakuja kupata x is equal to uh, a half y uh, minus a half so range of the original relation the set of all values of y which when substituted in the new relation ambao ndio hii hapa tulio tulio ipata hapo ile relation to the equation tulio ipata hapa x is equal to a half y minus a half equation ndio ambayo tunaangalia kwamba je ni value gani za y tunaweza tukaziingiza hapa zikatengeneza x yield the value of x is given by the new relation kwa hiyo even ndio ambapo tunatafuta domain and range uh, range of this uh, function will be all number the range for this uh, i mean the range for this relation will be all real number kwa hiyo domain na range eh, kwa relation kama hapa zinafanana all real number pamoja na all real number lakini ni case umepewa swali ambalo na square kama hilo hapo ambayo domain namba yote ya x ukiingiza unaweza kupata square yake domain namba yote ya x lakini you to get range you need to to make subject x or to write a uh, y in terms of x yani uandike x iwe on the left hand side of the equation kwa hiyo hapo natakiwa u make subject x kutoka kwenye hiyo hiyo formula yako hapo ambayo hiyo ni concept ya form 2 jinsi ya ku make subject concept ya form 2 so from there kama hiyo tayari ni concept ya form 2 maana ni kwamba we can proceed so from there tutakachosema ni kwamba tutasema y equal to 3x square plus 2 y minus 2 is equal to 3x square so y minus 2 divided by 3 is equal to x square x will be is equal to square root of y minus 2 divided by 3 that is to say kwamba ili ili huyu x wetu awe positive lazima hii hapa isiwe ni kisiwe negative hicho kitu kwa sababu y huyu hapo minus 2 hichi kitu chote kisiwe negative kikiwa negative hichi hatuwezi kupata value ya nani ya x so for x kuwa real number y minus 2 must be greater than or equal to 0 that is to say y should be greater than or equal to 2 kwa sababu mbili kija huko inakuwa 2 so range itakuwa sawa sawa na set of all real numbers y is greater than or equal to 2 that will be the range of our, our relation kwa hiyo hope mpaka hapo tu tumeelewana kuhusu domain and the range of relation domain and the range so tukaenda ku solve range e, tutapata all real number y ambayo y inatakiwa ni greater than or equal to 2 ah uh, toka hapo tuone ya yeah, kuna other examples ambazo tunataka tutafute domain and the range so kama umeelewa hiyo concept hiyo ndo concept ambayo tunaitumia kote you will see uh, more questions in the notes lakini hiyo ndo concept ambayo tunatumia kote yani ili mradi tu kwamba hiyo kama una square root kama hivi namba iliyoko ndani iwe greater than or equal to zero. greater than or equal to zero. kwa hiyo finally that is the concept of domain and range kwenye vipindi unafuata tutakuwa tunaangalia uh, graphs of relation how to draw the the graphs of uh, relation